Let's open up the first document from File and Open. And if you browse into the InDesign Essentials folder, then into Guardian, you'll find that we have an InDesign file called guardianstar.idml and then click on Open. You will probably find that the first time you open up this document or any InDesign file that contained fonts that you don't have installed, it might take a moment just for those fonts to be downloaded from uh, adobefonts.com and then you'll see the document then spring to life and you'll be able to start editing. 